Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Thursday. It's my day off and um, I like to start my days with some out of the kennel time for the puppies as I see that they behave much much better during the day when they just had an hour of time to roam around and do their thing. So as I'm not feeling that well, I decided to start my day easy going with some out of the crate time for the puppies. Later today I'm gonna teach a lesson. So I'm gonna teach the class that's learning to become a vet tech. Uh, the first class I think and I'm gonna tell them a bit about my breeding adventure and things that come along with breeding and stuff. And when I'm done there, I will be going to the field with the dogs again to work them. So, still an active day, but it's scheduled a bit differently. So, <laughs> Dean is watching me. What is it, wifey? Um, it's Blackie his turn to run around. Mill already had his hour of freedom. <laughs> and now it's Blackie his uh, turn. And then we'll see what the rest of the day brings. So I just returned home after giving my lesson and we have typical Dutch weather again. So I'm gonna warm the girls up so they can have a run on the sled mill. And probably I will visit my grandma later today with the puppies. So they still had some exercise and doing something else than normally. But they kinda hate rain. So I decided not to go to the forest because my car will get stuck and all these problems and I'm still not fit enough to do crazy shit so I'm just gonna give them the exercise but we just um, changed a schedule a bit um, normally I would go and do everything but because carnival is next weekend and I really want to celebrate that I just need to keep myself a bit calm Otherwise, I probably will get sick for real and I'm not trying to push all these buttons because normally I just go crazy and do all, everything and then I'm crying because I get sick and now I really want to wait with getting sick until carnival is over. So, I'm gonna get the girls. Hi, baby. Ben is such a good girly. You're such a sweet girl. Yeah. We're gonna do something girly.
so the girls had a 35 minute run on the slap mill and while they were running I received the microphone covers the two fluffs for this camera so this way you won't hear the wind that hard and it's better to film outside as my life is mostly outside I thought it would be smart to order this as fast as possible so I've got it now and when I am home I will show you guys the order I got from England I ordered some tuck ties, tuck toys and some blankets for in the car kennels um, 5 March my car is leaving for three days and I will get six kennels in there so I can't wait I'm really looking forward to it I've got hairs in my mouth of course so I really look forward to that because that way my car looks uh, much better and cleaner because it's kind of a mess now with all the kennels that are just put it in there and all the shit that's just flying around at the moment so I really can't wait for next month so just two and a half weeks I think and then finally I have six very nice kennels I will make a separate video about that to explain why I choose what I cho I've chosen and everything so. and I'm cooling down the girls at the moment they really did a good job and they were able to just run and do their thing and now we just do a 30 minute walk and then I will just relax at home puppies will have the hours a great time and I can do some things for work then they will get their massage and the nice thing today is that my sister comes for dinner with me so that's also very nice and the dogs love her so they will be happy to see her as well and the good thing is that my car is leaving beginning the beginning of March and at the end of March we are leaving to go to the DSA so my car will be ready just in time for the first competition we have and oh I'm so happy with that because I will sleep in my car I rent a caravan together with Miriam and Robert and that's always a lot of fun but I sleep in the car with the dogs so I'm really happy they still have a spot left for my car the beginning of March so that way we don't have to reschedule things we just can do things how we plan them so that's very good finally stopped raining so I decided to take Dre and Lan out as well already so they can have a little run Dre still thinks we're going to have a frisbee session but that's not what we're going to do because it's still way too wet and I'm afraid 
that he will tear his knees up and just end up with a bad injury so that's why I not going to do that so just a walk around the field and having an off-leash run and I must say I'm not a fan of letting your dogs off-leash and um, that's because a lot of dogs don't listen but these two are behaving very well they just leave other dogs and I'm walking in a field where I can see what's coming um, and then I can leash them but for them it's just a nice way to do something else because we're not doing that this, this that often so If I had a boat, I would sail out Take every brother and sister of mine We'd row in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark Hoping to find somewhere we can come But it's black, yeah it's black Oh the water's black Cause it's black from England it's not sponsored but I really like the product so I thought it would be nice to share them with you um, probably it will be a bit of a chaos because Mil is out of his kennel and Bereb is uh, out of her kennel as well um, Bereb loves to cuddle and Mil is just trying to get his mom to play with him so I bought tuck toys and uh, I'm going to show you the ones that I wait normally use uh, as rewards during the men's training lessons and that are these ones, the rabbit skin with a longer elastic part on it. Puppies, Clara. And with a lot of these toys, um, the problem is that I can use them twice and then my dogs just rip them apart. So I never let them play with it themselves, but even when I only use it as a reward, <sighs> Mil loves them. So that's the hard part of this. They rip this from each other and then 
yeah, I can't use it anymore. Yeah, that's nice, right? That's so nice, I know. So, as you can see, they like it very naturally. They just like to do this. He has seen them once, but he really likes to bite these ones. Good job. Good boy. And that's why I like to use them as a second reward during the man training. I first give them a big amount of food, food that they don't normally don't get, and then they get a tuck toy. So I have four of these, and then I have four puppy tucks, and Mil is obsessed with all this I have here. I can't record this with him around. And I have four of these ones, and these are sheepskin uh, tuck toys with a short handle. And I really like this to teach the puppies how to bite. Get it? Get it? You get it? She's so sweet, my little girl. And um, this is the way they work. I really like these ones as well. Uh, then I have three. Hey, three. Yeah, I know. Come on. Wait. Better is more of a rabbit skin a dog. For... I, I'm... Yeah, I know. Of these with the short handle, but then with rabbit skin. And as you can see, she likes these better. She is really loving the uh, rabbit skins. So, good job. That were all the tuck toys I bought. Um, I really love them. So probably we'll do another we'll do another order not too long from now. Um, I also bought blankets for in the kennels in the car and I think they are just way too cute. I have these ones. I bought two of these. And it's this teddy's uh, part on the other side. So fleas on this side and teddy on this side. And then I have these ones, all kind of animals. I have two of these as well. They are just too cute. I'm not the type that really likes all these cute things, but for this, I really like them too much to not buy them. And the rainbow colors. So I have five um, and I really like them. And probably I will add more in the future because they feel really soft, really nice and they are not too big for um, in the kennels. If I get there faster than you Cause it's mad, yeah it's mad Oh the whole world's mad Cause it's mad Black, black water, oh black water